Assalamualaikum Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera My name is Saiful Aiman bin Muhammad from RK2 RK23 Electrical System Engineering Today I want to present about the investigation of three phase Y connector generator Introduction As an engineer, we are given a task to investigate or analyze the an electrical system that consists of a three-phase Y-connected generator, transmission, loss and a load with acceptance power factor lagging according to electricity supply. Application Handbook In our country, the standard local Electricity Supply Authority is TMB, which is Tenaga's National Berhad. Three-phase electric power is a common distribution. It also one of the common system used in worldwide to transfer power based on the latest electricity supply application handbook that provide by TMB. The system that consists of a three-phase Y connector generator, transmission loss, and a load with acceptance power factor lagging 0.9 according to SRV Volume 3. For the voltage level 132 kV and above, the frequency of load supply from the three-phase Y connector generator at the line voltage is 50 Hz plus minus 1 which is Malaysian in standard we need to need to evaluate the parameter of the electrical system in the context of transmission and load impedance current voltage and acceptable voltage drop based on B BHS 7671 or any Malaysia authority standard other than that we also need to evaluate and analyze the active power absorbed by the loop by using the wattmeter and method and the conventional measuring method. We require to use PSIM for our simulation. Objective First objective is to investigate the three-phase Y connector generator. Number two is to make sure students know about the Malaysian standard electricity supply. Number three is to study and evaluate the active power absorbed by the loop by using two wattmeter method and the conventional measuring method. Methodology In this task, Students are randomly assigned the value of line voltage. The value of the V line to line the assigned for me is 132 kV. By using this value, we manage to calculate the value of V phase. Here are formula that we use to get the value of V phase. V phase equal to VLL divided by Z3. The value of transmission loss and the value of load was determined by using student metric number itself. For example, my my metric number which is 18109134A. The value of transmission load and load is load transmission 48 plus J13 ohm. Load 81 plus J9 ohm. As you can see the figure at the picture, um, D is the circuit that, that construct by using PSIM software, my circuit. From the value that we obtain from the circuit, we need to find the percentage of withdraw by using formula. For The formula for withdraw is V supply minus V load divided by V supply multiplied by 100% we need to calculate the value of total power 
that deliver to the loop by using conventional method and two watt meter. As you can see, this is the graph from PSIM lab uh, calculation for e phase. I show you the calculation to get this. V line to line that give to me is 132 kV. Transmission loss is 48 plus J13 ohm. Load 81 plus J9 ohm. E line. The formula for E line is uh, set 3 divided by E phase. But we want to find the E phase here. So uh, we must change the, the position of the formula and we get uh, E phase. The E phase for me is 77.94 kilovolt. The calculation for the I phase is, um, as you can see, this is the graph for the I phase that I that I get from the PSIM. Um, this is the calculation for I I phase. I phase is I line equal to I phase. For the IAA equal to EAN divided by Z loop plus Z line. As you know, my EAN is 77 plus uh, 0.94 kilo ohm, and my Z loop and my Z line, as I said before, 89.81 plus J9 plus 48 plus J3. And IAN for that I get is. 595.6 for the IBB is EBN divided by Z loop plus Z line same same for the for the formula but EBN the the degree is 120 so I got the IBB is 595.6 Actually, it's the same, but the the degree is different. For the ICC, um, ECN divided by Z loop plus Z line. ICC is same, and uh, the degree is same. The, the degree is doesn't have negative here, and the Z loop and Z line is the same value as you, as as before. So I get the ICC 595.611032 degree. This is the graph. This is the graph that I get from Efis Look. Uh, as you can see, the graph is like this. From the name, and I can explain to you how to get the efface loop the calculation for efface loop is EAN equal to IAA divided multiplied by Z loop for the EAN that I get the get is 5595.6 divided uh, multiply by my Z load which is 81 plus J9 and I get the EAN is 48.54 K negative 3.34 degree for the EBN is IBB multiply by Z load EBN equal to my my IBB that I got before and multiply by my Z loop which is 89.J5 and I got the IBB 48.54K 40, for the ECN equal to ICC 
divided by z load that I get ECC ECN is ICC that I got before is 5.595.6 divided by multiply by z load 89.j plus j5 and I get ECN 48.54k 4v drop the formula for v drop is v supply minus v load divided by v supply multiply by 100% v drop that I get is as here you can see 77 point the withdraw that I get is 74.6 so that I don't mention here the VLL load for the VLL for load A is set 3 divided by V not load A equal to as you can see my load A is 48.54k and I divide it by set 3 and I get 84.07k for the VLL loop B set 3 over V not loop B and I get 84.07 for the VLL loop C set 3 multiply by V loop C and I get 84.07k this is the watt meter for watt meter method based on SRV3 for the PF value power factor lagging 0 0.9 for voltage level 1, 2, 3 kV and above shift cost 0 0.9 equal to 25.84 as you can see the graph here power measure by first watt meter Uh, the as you can see here uh, power for the PW1 we cost tiga, cost 13 and I get 49.94 milliwatt power measure by second watt meter you can see here uh, I power measure by second watt meter I get 28.12 the total power the formula per for total power is PT equal to P1 plus P2. I for the P1 49.94 and the P2 is 28.12. And the answer is 78.06 mW. For the conventional method, the real power consumed by the load is using by this formula. P load equal to 3 load cos theta. P load 3 cos theta. For as you can see the graph here, the the formula for P load is 3 3 divide multiply by V load cos theta equal to 348.94 kilo and the answer is for P load is 86.20 millivolt for the discussion For the discussion, from the value that I had calculated by using all the formula, figure 1 shows the circuit was constructed by PSIM software in order to obtain the result. By using the V-line to line, v -line, line that had been assigned for me, I managed to obtain the value of v -line. The value of V-line line is used to get I-line of the IAN, IBN and ICN. 
in yy connection the value of i line equal to i phase so we don't need to calculate the value of i phase after that if we want to find the voltage drop we must to calculate the value of phase voltage first there are slightly different amount of the value that we obtain from the simulation again the calculation but the amount does not give much impact to our cell so to our result by using the formula of V phase value the voltage drop can be determined forward meter forward meter method based on ESH V3 for the PF value power factor lagging 0.9 for voltage 132 kV and above the total power is determined using the value of V load and I load also the result they obtain from the simulation is slightly different from the calculation even there is slightly different the value should be no problem cause it still can perform well conclusion as a conclusion the objective of the project is accomplished student get so much knowledge about the malaysian standard electricity supply Students also be able to understand about three-phase Y-connected generator. Normally, the operation of three-phase system in ideal condition and balance three-phase condition. We also able, able to evaluate the active power absorbed by the loop by using the voltmeter and the conventional measuring method. For the reference, I get from the T, uh, from the TMB and Wikipedia from the Google from the trusted trusted information. So that's all from me. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Stay at home. Kita jaga kita. Bye. Assalamualaikum.